the mind. A terrible thing to waste. However, sometimes a difficult thing to control. Hey, what's up, people? So, what's on my mind today? I'll tell you what's on my mind. My mind. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, the mind can be a very powerful thing. Um, we use it every day uh, to do, you know, minimal stuff, small, insignificant stuff, and then big, big, huge tasks. Sometimes thinking we could never do that. And um, how do we do that? All with the nagging. In fact, if our mind is at, you know, a really, really good state, um, we can figure out all sorts of complex things like, um, you know, figuring out a Rubik's Cube. Oh. Oh. Getting to the top of Mount Everest. Or if, you know, we can get our mind to its fullest potential, who knows? We could probably do something like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't think that'll ever happen. You know what? Hey, uh, let's get Elon on the phone. Uh, let's get him on that ASAP. I'm on it. So, uh, me being prior military, um, I'm retired now. Uh, you know, the mind was a very, very important aspect of day-to-day -day activities. Like, I mean, you know, your body can get you so far, but then with addition to your mind, it could get you even further. So, uh, yeah, so having, having a good state of mind was, was an important thing every day. So when I was still in the military, uh, they sent me to a course called MRT, the Master Resiliency Training. Um, so I'm sure a lot of us have heard of that term before, resiliency. Um, and I'm sure a lot of us know what that means. But for those of us who don't know, here it is. Straight from Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Uh, so the term resiliency, uh, the ability of something to return to its original size and shape after being compressed or deformed. Okay, now what does that definition have to do with what we're talking about with the mind? That's not the definition that we're going to be co um, concentrating on here. We're going to be looking at the definition as an ability to recover from or adjust easily to adversity or change. That applies a little bit better. So how do we correlate the mind with resiliency? Um, so, you know, there are a lot of instances, circumstances, situations that will come about in a person's life that will challenge their mind. Um, and with this mind challenged, you know, you might do something that you didn't necessarily want to have had happen. Um, and with a weak-minded person, uh, they could fall easily into many different mind traps. So one of the biggest mind traps that we can fall into is something called catastrophizing, to catastrophize. Huh? So you're like, catastrophize? What the hell is that? I can't even pronounce that word. Believe me, I had trouble with it too when I first heard the word. Uh, so here, let me help you out with that. Catastrophizing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too fast. Let's slow it down a little bit. Catastrophizing. Ah, much gooder. <laughs> so now that we know how to pronounce the word, uh, let's go into some of the different types of catastrophizing. So we've got scattershot. We've got circling. And we've got 
the downward spiral. All right, so with the first one, scatter shot, uh, we have one bad incident that happens, which causes our mind to go into that negative state. Um, and when we're thinking about that, that then triggers another incident that, you know, is negative, um, that we remember. And all of a sudden that one triggers another one, which triggers another one, which triggers another one. And now we have all these negative thoughts in our head scattered all over the place. Um, hence the name Scattershot. And now we are just going out of our mind because now we have all these things in our head causing us to go nuts. I can't believe I forgot to pick Sean up from school again. God, it's like the third time. Oh man, and I forgot to pay the water bill. Oh, that's the second time. God. Oh. Damn, and I forgot Beth's dry cleaning. Damn, well that's the fifth day it's gonna be there. Oh. forgot the Celtics game was on. Oh, that's like the fifth game in a row. Hey daddy, since you took too long, I just walked home. I'm sure mommy's gonna love hearing that. All right, circling. So circling is, is kind of self-explanatory when I give you this explanation. So when we come across a negative circumstance, negative incident, um, you know, our mind then starts to wander and we fall upon a certain end result that we think may occur uh, because of this negative incident. And then our mind wanders some more thinking of more negative things, uh, but ultimately always circling back to that one negative end result we thought of in the first place. Daddy, mommy wrote a note for you on the board. She's so it's important for you to read it. Oh man, I wonder if it's because I didn't take the trash out again. It's like the fifth time she had to tell me. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, I'm gonna get divorced. Oh God. Or maybe the fact that I said taking out the trash is trash to her face. Oh God, I'm getting divorced. Or maybe the fact that she knew I was pretending to sleep when she asked me to take the trash out. Damn, 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 I'm getting divorced. Oh God, I'm so nervous to see what this message says. <sighs> To the downward spiral so we've heard this term before I'm sure how um, you know something negative happens and then um, our mind again powerful thing starts to wander where we think this could happen because of this uh, negative incident and then because of that another thing happens and it gets worse 
and another thing happens and it gets worse and it just continues in our mind negative things to happen and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse of course bringing you into this downward spiral of hell us to order what? Blue pens? What do you think, we in the Air Force? <laughs> hey! Sorry, Major needs to see you, man. He looks pissed. Man, I wonder if it's because I forgot to share that video on your army now. Oh, man. I didn't follow directions. He's going to demote me. Oh, my gosh. And I'm gonna lose pay? Oh, but I'll pay. I can't pay rent. But I'll rent. I'm gonna lose the house. Oh my gosh, I can't lose the house. Beth and the kids are gonna leave me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a bum on the street. Oh, and then I can't buy food. I'm gonna be hungry. Without food, I'm gonna get sick. If I get sick, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Sergeant Boyle, come on in. Close the door. <clears throat> Sergeant Major, you said you needed to see me? So, I wanted to talk to you about all this noise and racket that's coming out of your office. And it's just all this fun going on. And really, Sarnable, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of disappointed. You didn't include me. Catastrophizing. Boy, isn't it a mother So we can see how catastrophizing, uh, you know, can greatly negatively affect all of our lives. Um, how powerful the mind is, again, to do great and positive things, but also to possibly do great negative things as well um, if our mind isn't in that right state. So, you know, uh, if you ever come into the situations where you start to catastrophize, um, you know, try your best uh, in doing many different things to tr try and put your mind at ease. Uh, you know, people do different things every day. Uh, some people, you know, do a lot of exercising, um, hobbies, sports. That's a big one for me. Uh, or like, you know, take a vacation to get away from it all. Or, you know, just to simply take yourself out of that situation in the meantime um, and and calm down by, you know, reading a book, uh, talking to someone. Um, if it gets that bad, you know, talking to a, a professional in that field that can put your mind at ease. Uh, so many different things uh, that we can do to, to get our minds out of that negative state back into the positive state that it should be in. All right, folks. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, and until next time, let's all get our minds right and continue to do well in this world. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.